Today we are going to be painting this 80 mile an hour wing, but instead of painting it on the ground, we're going to be painting it in the sky at full speed. So uh, a week ago we did a video where we did this on a bloody wonder, and now that I've kind of proven the concept, I want to try it in a little bit more of a legit fashion. So we're going to do this on a faster plane, and certainly a plane that will benefit from the, uh, the painting much more than the plane that I did previously. So we are uh, running low on sunlight today, so I'm going to uh, try to get in the air as quick as possible. But we are going to make a few changes from what we did in the last video. So uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and go through those right now. Okay, so uh, for the colors, I have made an executive decision to go with orange and blue. Um, I wanted to do a, uh, a red and blue or like a red and orange, something like that, but I didn't have any red, so we're just going to have to use these, uh, this orange and blue. I don't actually have a lot left of the orange uh, or the blue, so uh, yeah, that's going to be a little bit difficult. But um, what I'm going to do differently than what I did in the last video is I'm actually going to add a little bit of water to each one of these, just, just a tiny bit. So I'm just going to add it directly to the bottle. Uh, right now I have a tiny Nalgene water bottle of water so that we can just make it a little more liquidy. Um, it's already a pretty liquidy paint, but it would definitely benefit from being more liquidy, so we're going to tip. I'm just going to add, just like a chemist would, add a slight amount. Okay, that's probably good. Very small amount. We are dealing with pretty small amounts of paint to begin with, so I'll shake it that up into there. There we go. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing with the blue. So uh, another thing that we are doing a little different is uh, instead of putting the paint in segments along the wing, we're actually gonna do an entire streak of blue along the wing and then an entire streak of orange along the wing. That way, as we fly, those paints will kind of merge together and then just get a really cool, like watery, speedy looking effect. So uh, yeah, that is the hope for today's video. I think we're gonna do uh, blue on the front edge and then orange behind um, because we really want, the blue needs to be kind of there, but we also want the orange trailing behind because it's gonna make it look like it's going a little faster. So just add this small amount of water to the blue now. Okay, that looks pretty good. And once again, shake it up. So uh, now that we have our colors, all combined with the water so that it's nice and liquidy, we are ready to put this on the plane. We're good to go. Looking good. Before I forget, I'm gonna roll the GoPro because I've forgotten that in the past. It has made many a, many a bad things happen. So GoPro is rolling. Oh good, we're gonna try to get some footage with the GoPro of the paint spreading, but it might not work. At this point, I really just wanna get that awesome look on the wing, so hopefully that's what we'll be able to achieve. Okay, so uh, one thing that's really benefiting us here is the ground's actually a little bit wet, and that's perfect because this plane's gonna sit down in that mud just a little bit, but that's gonna give us some extra stability, so I'm really hoping that'll help us out here. I think we're ready to do this. 80 mile an hour plane, painting in the sky hold my controller. It's probably smart if I want to fly it. All right, we're good, we're standing up. Shoot. Alrighty, try it again. Alrighty, there we go, we are in the air. Ooh, that was, that was a little sketchy there. So we are now good, we are flying. Hopefully around 80 miles an hour. If you haven't already seen the speed test we did on this video, definitely go check that out. At this point, it's all about not taking too many risks and uh, not crashing. 
flying really nice though. All right, so we are going to try some uh, some barrel rolls, maybe in a flip or two, um, as was commented or uh, rather suggested. So uh, we're gonna try a flip here. Hopefully that'll spread the paint out a little differently too. There we go. That was two. Let's just try try to keep giving them. Alrighty, so we're gonna keep flying for hopefully the rest of the battery life. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start a time lapse and then come back to you once we have landed. Coming in pretty slow, but still hot. I mean, it is a wing. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes, stuck the landing. All right, let's go check it out. Okay, so we did have a bit of a rough takeoff at first, but eventually we got it in the air, and as you can see, this is a super cool effect. Uh, I'm really amazed at how well it was able to mix the colors and marbleize it, which is kind of what I wanted. One of those colors to mix and you know just seem like a marble uh, thing on your plane. Although you didn't see it, uh, as I was flying and I saw the colors mixing together, it looked super cool. Even if this just is something that you're gonna you know have down and just sitting on the ground that you can look at. It still looks amazing when it's in the air. So I definitely recommend you try this out. And if you do, uh, send me some photos, send me some videos so that I can see how you did it. I, uh, this is definitely a new concept for me and I would love to see how some other people have tried this out and you know, see if it worked for them too. Alrighty, so that is all for today's video. Uh, if you like this video, then definitely uh, drop a like and also be sure to subscribe so you get notified for my upcoming videos. But other than that, I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.